Hey everybody, welcome to ThoughtStream Consulting's online TM1 tutorials. This is the second installment of a three-part series entitled Manually Creating Dimensions. These techniques and processes that we're, that we're teaching you during these tutorials are both simple to do and they highlight some of the basic functionality of TM1. That's why these exercises are good to know and to understand as you continue to use TM1 into the future. Today we're going to show you how you can manually create a dimension and then populate it using, its, using some of Microsoft Excel's basic functions. So let's go ahead and get started. In the Server Explorer window, navigate to the dimension, Dimensions module and right click it. Then select Create New Dimension. This is going to bring up the Dimension Editor window. And as we went over in the last tutorial, this is where you can add and delete elements as well as create your structured hierarchies. But today, since we're doing it within Microsoft Excel, let's go ahead and open up an Excel worksheet. In this worksheet, go ahead and type the word January. Now we're going to use the autofill function by the simply corner drag the box straight down until the, the gray box next to my cursor says December. When it says that, release. Then highlight the, the block of cells, then right click it and select copy. Navigate back to the dimension editor window and then paste it in. Now we have all the months within our time periods dimension. Let's use the technique we used that we learned in the last tutorial to create the elements total year in quarters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we'll create our structure hierarchy. Go to the toolbar, select Edit, and then Insert Element. In the Insert Element Name dialog box, type the, type the element names total year in quarters 1, 2, 3, and 4. When you have all of your elements, click OK. Now we're just simply going to drag and drop the elements into our hierarchy. So let's do Q1 through Q4 into total year, and then January through March into Q1, and the rest of the months into the corresponding quarters. Now remember, as you're doing this, make sure that you're dropping directly on top of the element you wish to consolidate into. Otherwise, you're just going to move your elements either above or below the intended consolidated value. So now we have the months rolling up into quarters and the quarters rolling up into total year. This looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to click OK. And now I'm prompted to name our dimension. Let's name it time periods. And click OK. And there we have it. There's our time periods dimension. And that's how you create a dimension manually and populate it using Microsoft Excel. I hope you found this informative. If you have any further comments, or questions, or suggestions, please feel free to contact me at www.thoughtstreamconsulting.com. Thanks and have a good day.